Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. In today's video, I am sharing a friendly biology flip through. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls, ages 11 and 14. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. First off, let me just say I am very sorry about the lighting. It is a really cloudy day today and I've even tried to pull out my ring light and nothing seems to help. So I'm sorry about the lighting, but this is something I really wanted to share because I want to be helpful. <laughs> my channel is meant to be helpful to other homeschooling families or, you know, families that are considering homeschooling and can it could be overwhelming. And I found that one of those things that were overwhelming me as a homeschool parent and our homeschool was biology for my ninth grader. So my ninth grader's name is Bella and she is not a student that struggles in science or biology but the course that we had originally chosen for her at the beginning of her ninth grade year just was not a good fit. She didn't like the way that it was set up. It was taking her almost two hours every single day to complete the lesson um, and although it was very thorough and it was a very good course um, she just she wasn't liking how long it was taking her. So she wasn't necessarily struggling in the concepts or the subject matter. It was more the amount of time it was taking her to complete the lesson and it was making her days really long and it started to affect the way she was able to complete the rest of her schoolwork. So I did do some research to find a more gentle um, approach to biology and that's where friendly biology came in. And now I just wanted to say that, again, this course is meant to teach high school students the complexity of living things in a gentle, non-intimidating manner. And I do believe that this course so far has done that. Now, we are only a few lessons in, um, but she is absolutely loving it. She is smiling about science again. It has taken a ton of time off of her day by using this course. And again, happy homeschooling over here. We are back to happy homeschooling. Okay, so before we jump into the flip through, there's a couple of things I wanted to mention, and that is that there are four different components to this course. You have the student textbook, which is in full color. You have the lesson test and answer key and you have the student workbook. Those are all the physical pieces to this course, but they do also have video lectures or video lessons as well. We did purchase those as well. Um, they go really, really great with each of the lessons. They just kind of like build on top of the text that your student was reading and it's, you know, showing them what they're talking about and all of that. So we do absolutely love the video component as well. And we did purchase our set on Rainbow um, at Rainbow Resource. Um, so we bought it all together as like a package. We didn't buy these individually. But let's move on into the actual flip through of the student textbook. Now, the student textbook is in full color. We do really enjoy that. There's a beautiful picture of a morning glory. And then here is the table of contents. In this book, or textbook, there are 28 lessons. I absolutely love that there are only 28 lessons. Um, it is scheduled out to do about a lesson a week, so you have 28 weeks of biology. But what I love about that is that it gives you wiggle room. So, you know, if something comes up, you have a little bit more time to complete this course, or if you your student wants to dive deeper into one of the topics, you have time for that. Or if your student is still struggling with the concept, they have more time to work on it because there's only 28 lessons, so 28 weeks of this course. And then it jumps right into the lessons. And as you can see, it's a very, very simple setup. There's not a lot going on. And these green boxes are actually really helpful. I'm not sure if they're coming up green. They kind of look yellow on camera, but these green boxes are really helpful. It's kind of like, a little note section of what you're reading about and what you're learning about throughout the course. So the first lesson is characteristics of living things. And again, there's colored pictures. The text isn't overwhelming at all. Again, these boxes kind of reiterate what you went over in you know the previous section. Just a really, really 
nice and gentle course. And then you have the lesson one lab activity. Now this one is growing a pet potato plant. And then it does give them step-by-step -step instructions. And again, there is that video component as well where your student can watch the video where they talk about and um, further dive into you know what the lesson topic was for the week so I do really enjoy the video component as well and even this lab section has colored photos for your student so while I am flipping through the textbook I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit more of a background on this course and that is that this course was created with the goal of teaching your high school student the complexity of living things in a gentle non-intimidating manner now what they are learning, so basically the scope of their study, um, it, it covers 28 weeks of lessons. You know, as you can see, there's beautiful colored um, illustrations in here. There are lab activities for a complete year long course and your students will be studying the characteristics of living things, basic chemistry as it pertains to living things, the roles of carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, you know, nucleic, was it nucleic acids, I think is how you say it, in living systems, the importance of pH in living systems, cytology, um, mitosis, meiosis, chromosome duplication, protein synthesis, you know, reproduction, genetics, taxonomy. I mean, there's so much in this course. I, they even go over um, human anatomy and physiology and the foundations of ecology. And I just think that that's a really wide range of study. And I think that it is more than enough, especially for a student that isn't necessarily going into a field where you need biology. You know, this is something that we are checking off of our list because it is a high school requirement. I do think it is very important for my daughter to learn the basics of biology, but she doesn't need, you know, an AP course or a college preparatory course to to further her career. So, I mean, I found that this one was very appropriate, very gentle, and she is absolutely loving it. And she has been smiling and happy again when it comes to biology, instead of feeling overwhelmed and having a ton of pressure, with, which is what she was getting from her other course. Now, a few more things I wanted to mention is that the student textbook is available in a Christian worldview and a secular version. And it's worth mentioning that the content in the mar is marginally different. Um, so basically there's scripture references in the Christian worldview version to where it's not in the secular version. And what I am flipping through today is the secular version. So I can't really speak too much on the Christian worldview, but that's what I was picking up from their website is that it's pretty much like scripture and things like that that's added in to the student textbook. Now, when your children, when your children, when your child is completing the lessons, again, there's 28 lessons and they're supposed to be taking around a week to complete them. And the readings in the textbook are usually ranging anywhere from about 10 pages to 25 pages. So some lessons may need additional time to complete, but that's the beauty of only having 28 lessons in this course is that if you have a, a student that maybe struggles with reading still, or if you have a student that just needs more time to complete a lesson, they have that time because it's only a 28 week course. You know, it's not a 34 week course or a 36 week course that takes up the entire year. This gives you that wiggle room. Okay, so now let's take a look um, inside the student workbook. The workbook is in black and white, but that really didn't matter to us because there are so many pictures throughout the textbook that are colored. So when you open this up, you have your table of contents, which obviously matches the textbook, and it jumps straight into your practice pages for your lessons. Now, as you can see, my oldest daughter has already worked through some of this. So let me go, go through that. Now, the student workbook does work with either version. You can use the secular or the Christian worldview text with this. And what I love about the work, um, the student workbook is that it's only two worksheets per lesson. So that's only like two worksheets a, a week. That is fantastic. It's not a lot that they have to complete. And I appreciate that because we're not a worksheet family. Now, the worksheets that they're usually completing are a mix of, you know, fill in the blank questions, matching exercises and puzzles. Now, these are not easy tear in the student workbook. So if you have another student, it might be best to just buy another student workbook and then they could share everything else. But that's one thing I do not like about um certain workbooks is when they're not easy tear. I just, I wish everything was easy tear.
but okay, rant over. But yeah, so again, the student workbook, it is very important, I feel, because it gives your student the opportunity to practice what they've been reading or listening um, to and just, you know, kind of help them further understand um, the concepts that they're learning about. And because it's only two worksheets a week, it makes it very manageable. Okay, so the last piece to this course that I could do a flip through on is the lesson, test, and answer key. Again, this one is in black and white as well, but that doesn't really matter to us. So you have the table of contents for this specific book. So you have your lesson test, so what your student will be completing, the actual test that you give them um, in the front. Then you have your test answer keys in the middle. And then you have your um, practice page answer keys in the back. So again, it gives you a breakdown of that. Now again, I do wish that these were easy tear because this is something that your student is going to be actually completing. I wish that this would have been easy tear so that I'm not handing her the entire book with all of the answer keys in it as well. But again, that's just a small complaint. I'm pretty picky, so <laughs> there's that. But yeah, so as, well, as you can see, this course is working out much better for her. But it's pretty much like multiple choice in a lot of them. Um, she does really appreciate that. So this is what the tests look like. And then right in the middle after the actual test, you have your test one through 14 answer key and your test 15 through 28 answer key. Because the tests are multiple choice, they just give you the, you know, the correct letter for, you know, each answer for each test. So they didn't really, they didn't really like need to take a lot of room, which was nice. It's all in one spot. Now, after that, you have your answer keys for lesson practice pages. So again, these are the practice pages that they would be doing in their student workbook. This just has the answers filled in on them. So very easy, very convenient. So I did just want to mention again that the lab activities that your student will be doing are not actually found inside the student workbook or teacher's guide. It, they are found in the textbook. So just keep that in mind as well that those lab activities are in the textbook. That is it for today. Again, we are really enjoying this course. My daughter's feeling much better about biology this year since we've switched her over to friendly biology. Now they do have other versions as well. Like I did see like a friendly chemistry and things like that. So it's definitely something to look into. We needed something to cut back how long her day was taking. Um, and this definitely did that. And it's a very friendly, very very gentle approach to biology and we absolutely appreciate that we do really love this course so far and i will give a full on review um, at the end of the school year about how we you know got through the book what she thought overall how it went overall but i can't really give that much um, of a review on it currently because again we're only a few lessons in but i can say what she has completed she has enjoyed so far so if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.